On KPIX 5 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, no more beds. One county hits its ICU limit. Why experts fear this isn't the worst of it. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michelle Griego. And Ellen Keys, good afternoon. Justice Hope is on the horizon with deliveries of the first COVID vaccine. Marin County is experiencing a very different kind of first. It has now filled all of its ICU beds. KPIX 5's Emily Turner joins us live from Marin County with the shocking numbers. And Emily, what they mean. Yeah, it pretty much they have hit their capacity. However, that doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to admit people into the hospital or into ICUs. What that means is they now kick off their surge plan. So that's the overflow beds. In some counties, they have tents outside. That is basically what goes into effect now. They'll still be able to treat people. But unfortunately, this is really now where we have crossed that threshold into the really dire circumstances. It's the holiday rush, but not the kind we'd like to see. COVID case rates are four times higher than they were just one month ago, stressing our health care system and the people who work them. It's a little hectic, a little uh, stressed. Yeah, a little stressful. There are 29 ICU beds staffed and available in Marin, all of them full. 12 of them hold COVID-19 patients. The county also announced there have been two more COVID-related deaths, bringing the total now to 108. 78 new infections bring the overall case rate number now to 6,374 since March. And I've never seen anything quite like what we're confronting now. And as an ICU doctor, I'm not scared by much. But I find the prospect of having a hospital and an ICU overflowing and concerned about not being able to take good care of our residents of Marin, I find that scary. You know, we're really, we're not the first line, we are the last line. That's why a vaccine is so important, even with a slow rollout. The first set of 1,905 doses will be delivered today and administered tomorrow. All three Marin hospitals plus two skilled nursing centers will get them, following the state protocol of immunizing health care workers and long-term care residents first. Put your shoulder to the wheel and keep moving. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do, right? And beyond this first round of doses that have been delivered, there are two more. The next one could come next week. That's another 1,905 doses from Pfizer. And then if it is approved, 3,000 uh, doses from Moderna. Now, of course, in addition to vaccines, the other way that we can flatten the curve and help our healthcare workers as well as the entire system is to do the regular things that we have known about, which is masks, social distancing, especially heading into this busy Christmas holiday season. Reporting live in Greenbury, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.